We're back out here fishing the surf. Let's see if we can catch anything today. Good morning, good morning. It's just about uh, 6 a.m. It's uh, Saturday and uh, I think I was out here on Tuesday, but we're all here at low tide today. Uh, low tide on Tuesday was three hours back, so it was like 3 a.m. So tides look about the same. It's a negative tide um, right now or negative low and it's gonna come up to about four feet again. So um, it looks the same, just the time, the time shifted three hours up. But uh, yeah, the water, yeah, we're definitely low tide. So there you go. Look at all these guys fishing too. So we will share the beach with these guys and uh, hopefully we'll catch something. All right, so I made some bait. Basically, uh, found a sand crab bed. I got one hooked on. And uh, you will see my first cast. Again, I'm fishing a Carolina rig today as well. I got uh, maybe about two feet of mono to my braid. It's like 15 pounds just for stretch. And then on there, I got a little short piece, maybe a foot and a half of uh, fluorocarbon. Now it's eight pounds. And all I'm doing is uh, throwing it in a trough, a little hole that I think I see, a little bit of deep water, and just slowly reeling it through there. I already set my drag. Make a few casts. I don't catch anything, I'll move. And it looks like uh, current in this particular area is going from the south, pushing north. And because I have a really light weight, and my crab just fell off. I have a really light weight, it's moving a lot, so. It's gone another crab here. there right underneath and coming out find the area I want to cast to wait for the rollers to come through so it doesn't wash my 
line back in. And just keep tension on it. Let it drift. Keep the line tight. We got fish on. We got fish on. Don't know what it is. But let's get this guy in. Oh, did I lose him? Did I lose him? Doesn't seem like a big one though. It is a <laughs> it is a small yellow fin croaker. Small yellow fin croaker. See that? I can feel them croaking right now. Little guy, but it is a catch, and I am happy for that. Oh, there you go. Other way, other way. There we go. Hoping for the uh, Corbina, but we'll see. We pin on another uh, crab. We'll toss it back out there again. <sighs> Wash some of that fish slime off me. Down here, grab the crab. And we'll get back to fishing. Yeah, right now it's overcast and. Uh, that's ah, tough to see a lot. The only thing I see is the white caps. It, uh, I can see where sand is breaking up right in front of me. And it looks like it's a deeper water. I think it's a trough that goes through here. It goes all up and along. And there's guys on the left of me, on the right of me. Fish are moving all the time. So we are just kind of standing in our own spots and hopefully they come through and uh, Choose us. I'm waiting for the waves to break so then it's kind of clear for me to throw it in the water where I think they are at. A lot of it's a guessing game. We don't know where they're at. And we don't know if they're gonna bite our line. Bite our lure, bite our bait. Just so no. Got another one. Got another one. Little one. I think. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he wants to pull. He wants to pull. He wants to pull. Better one, another yellow fin. There you go, another yellow fin. Broken away at me. Wants to go back home. Thank you, guy. Let's go. Thank you, God. It's been a good morning so far. Again, I'm using a light line setup. Again, yeah, maybe a foot, foot and a half liter from the egg weight. And uh, eight pound test. And above that, the uh, egg weight is sitting on 15 pound mono for a little bit of stretch. And that 15 pound mono I have, yeah, probably about two to three feet worth. 
because it stretches quite a bit. And after that, of course, it's my braid. And that's how I'm fishing it today. It seems to be working. There's guys that just go straight braid to uh, braid to floral. And there's guys that do all mono. These guys are, I mean, these guys are pro surf, surf guys. I don't know. They both, they both work, I guess. So I did a hybrid system. A little bit of uh, mono, a little bit of floral, and some braid. Well, I'm looking now to the left and right of me. It's uh, 640. So tide's coming up. It's almost shoulder to shoulder. Guys fishing here. It's good. People are getting out. I guess I have to stay in my own spot now. Really can't move too much to my left or right. But again, fish got fins, no fences. So they are moving wherever they want to go. Yeah, I'm not casting that far out there. I got a seven foot, my seven three Dobbins, medium light spinning rod on a 2500 Fuego. And I can't cast it that far. Maybe, uh, if I had to guess, maybe about 50, 60 feet in front of me. We got number, we got number three on, I think. Where is he? He's going that way. Come on in, buddy. Come on in. Oh, he wants to jump. A little better. A little better. Come on. A little better. Yeah, nice. A little nicer one. Definitely. Definitely nice. Yeah. It's definitely a nice yellow fin. Okay, calm down. I'll get you undone. There you go. Oh, there he goes. Jumping out of my hand. See if we can uh, throw it back in that same spot. Maybe there's more of them in there. Yeah, I'm just throwing it out there, trying to let it hit the bottom and just dragging it. Feeling the bottom, make sure I get some sand or whatnot. Just so I know it's on the bottom. And I got that foot, foot and a half meter on there, so it's floating above that maximum a foot and a half, but I doubt it, because I'm bringing it in, so maybe four or five inches. Last one hit pretty hard, because he was a bigger fish. Let's see if we can get another decent sized one. So I stopped fishing that spot, um, essentially standing in the standing in the waves and casting in. I'm actually doing a looking for Corbina in the water. It's pretty tough because it's overcast. I'm hoping to find a fin sticking out of the water, movement of some sort. 
targeting the uh, sand crab beds over here and kind of calm water. But I have not seen anything yet. And I've walked down the beach quite a bit, so keep posted. So it's about 8.37 right now. And I also want to show you uh, my sand crab shovel. Uh, basically it's a kitty litter scoop. And of course it's slotted. I tried all different types of things in the past and this seems to work the best and it's easy to carry. I don't know if you can see all those little ripples on the sand. Those should be sand crabs. Let's see if I can grab some. We throw water, waves come up, whitewash, bring it up. Just dig deep. And a bunch of sand crabs. And some bean bean clams too. So. But yeah, if you're looking for one. Seems, seems to work. They have all different kinds. But you can find these usually fairly cheap. Oh, we got one. We got one on. Little one. Let's see what it is. Another croaker? Uh oh, did it come off? Did it come off? Hope not. Oh no, there he is. There's a the little guy. Little croaker. It's 10 o'clock and it's uh, I'm bringing in a lot of salad so make a few more casts if I call it a day early day actually but it's been a good day fishing well for me God's day fishing it's give me four fish to catch and I do appreciate it. it. Allows me to have the fun and joy of being outside, being outdoors. with that said I hope you guys enjoyed the video I enjoy being out here enjoy fishing and I'll enjoy editing video as well so see you guys next week hopefully I'll catch up the next week and I'll share it with you you guys take care keep your lines tight